10 Best Jutsu Battles in Boruto, Ranked It seems every new character in Boruto can do something cool or unique, making the anime, and its jutsu battles, fun to watch. While it can be debated that Boruto doesn't live up to its predecessor when it comes to storytelling, its anime battle sequences can't be ignored. Boruto has some of the most visually pleasing fights, putting them right on par with anything in Naruto and, at times, even being better than anything the original anime put out. This is especially true with ninjutsu-focused fights as the sheer variety of abilities dwarfs Naruto's. It seems every new character can do something cool or unique, making the anime fun to watch. 10. Boruto slash Shinki vs. Urashiki leads to Boruto activating the Jogun. Urashiki should have handily defeated the duo well before Sasuke made his arrival. Regardless, it does have interesting jutsu being shown off. Mostly with Shinki, who has such a unique ability that it's a shame he doesn't show up more often. Towards the end, Boruto ends up activating his Jogun, allowing him to see where Urashiki is going to attack from while dimension hopping. 9. Sarada vs. Buntan harkens back to the old days of Naruto. There isn't anything flashy about the battle between Sarada and Buntan, the entire battle harkening back to the beginning stages of part 1 of Naruto. The fight was reminiscent of the battle Kakashi had with Tsubuza, Sarada taking full advantage of her Sharingan's ability to copy the jutsu it sees. The two end up going blow for blow until Sarada's intelligence wins out. Utilizing a genjutsu to gain the advantage over the swordsman and secure victory. 8. Boruto vs Shoujoji shows how tactical Boruto can be. The battle with Shoujoji forced Boruto to think outside the box, to use his head more than he usually does. Shoujoji's defense seemed impenetrable. Something not even Boruto's strongest Raisingan could pierce. It's why Boruto had to devise a strategy that his teammate Sarada is more known for to defeat the hulking foe. The entire fight is also helped by the fact that Shoujoji is creepy. Always talking about eating Boruto. 7. Boruto Sarada vs Shinki establishes what a powerhouse Shinki is. Shinki was made out to be even more powerful than Gara was at that age. He was the powerhouse of the Chunin exams, with little room for debate. And the way he handled both Boruto and Sarada was incredibly impressive, setting him up for big things later in the series. He was also able to overcome the plot armor often wrapped around Boruto, as the younger Uzumaki had to cheat to be able to defeat him and his impenetrable defense. 6. Kage's Sasuke vs. Kinshiki Mamashiki lets the other Kage look competent. An issue Boruto has at times is using established characters as fodder for whatever the new villain is. Naruto and Sasuke are the only exceptions to that rule. That means the other Kages aren't treated with much respect. The initial fight between the two Atsutsuki clan members and the assembled Kages is one of the few lone exceptions. They manage to actually contribute before the Atsutsuki get to fully flex their muscles, and it becomes the Uzumaki and Sasuke show. 5. Naruto slash Boruto slash Sasuke slash Jiraiya vs. Urashiki showed off what all five combatants could do. The time slip arc is a bit controversial in the sense that it's either loved or hated by fans. No matter the side, the final fight with Urashiki is well worth it. No one character takes center stage as it takes all four of them to take down the Atsutsuki member. Jiraiya helped provide strategy. While the other three were more of the powerhouses. The one thing that drags the fight down just a little is how similar the ending is to the battle with Mamashiki. 4. Team 7 vs AO was the perfect battle of shinobi wear against ninjutsu. For a minor character that showed up in the latter half of Shippuden, AO got a ton of character development in Boruto. 
He helped further introduce Kara to the world and provided one of the better fights in the whole series. He was so loaded up with shinobi wear that he was hardly a man anymore. Making him an immensely difficult opponent to overcome. It took all of Team 7 to weaken him enough to be taken down. It was the perfect way to display the power of shinobi wear against Nin- 3. Team 7 vs. Deepa is well-built story progression. The battles Team 7 has with Deepa are excellent, showing a real progression from the trio. At first, they are toyed with and easily handled by Deepa. The Kara member even mocking Baruto at the end. The next battle is even better, showing off teamwork that the original Team 7 didn't even have. That same teamwork ended up securing them the victory as all three help make sure the compressed Raisingan can defeat Deepa. It's great both story-wise and with its animation. 2. Baruto slash Chocho slash Sarada vs. Kaku is visually stunning. Those who only read the manga or skipped out on fillers are missing out as this battle during the Inoki centric filler arc is incredible. Kaku is an immensely powerful fabrication that utilizes Inoki's dust release. For much of the battle, he's overpowering Baruto until Sarada and Chocho show up. From there, it is pure animated bliss to watch as every movement is so fluid and seamless. It does a great job of making all four fighters look strong too, a rarity with Shonen. 1. Mamashiki vs Naruto Sasuke is the pinnacle fight of the whole series. The battle between Sasuke and Mamashiki is broken into multiple parts and is nothing short of amazing in each one of them. It's the fight that helped Baruto step out of the shadow of its predecessor, if only slightly. It could be weighed against any battle from Naruto and hold up. Both Naruto and Sasuke no longer have to hold back. Letting them pull off crazy techniques. Kurama-infused Susanoo is hands down one of the coolest looking techniques used in any of the Naruto series.